Welcome back to Little Bit of This and That. For a room full of junk, that was one very sophisticated lock system. This place was definitely fishy. In more ways than one. Okay, we heard that yesterday. Um, but, yeah, so welcome back, guys. Uh, we are back with a bit more, with some more Broken Sword. Um, I couldn't wait to play it this morning. <clears throat> so, I'm up early and I'm evading my daughter's space while... Sorry about that, guys. When I started having a coffee fit, coughing a bit my daughters decided to ask whether a gecko lizard was real which obviously is a gecko is a lizard so let's have a look at this boat shall we Oop. oops why would you do that i don't understand moving the skiff would only damage it more there's something here An old shell case. I wondered what that was doing there. Let's have a look at the shell case in. The brass case was smooth and perfectly round. Okay. Now there is something over here. No handle, nothing obvious. But there had to be a way to open it. The words sinister and dexter were carved on either side. Now any good convent girl like me knows the old Roman for left, right, left, right. But what did it mean here? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Oh, okay. The hole was too small even for my little hand. Oh, okay, so what can we put? We put the tweezers in there again. No. What about the shell case in? No. Look at that. Oh. Mystery solved. Carchon's stone cylinder slotted into the hole with a satisfying click. Right, so left. A satisfying click told me I turned it to the right position. It felt like tumblers in a safe. Right. Another click, another step closer. Left. Right. I made a mistake, the lock reset. Okay, so we know it's left. A satisfying click told me I turned it to the right position. It felt like tumblers in a safe. Right. Another click, another step closer. Right, so I did left last time, but now she didn't say another click, so let's try right. Oh no. Oh. I had to start again. Okay, so it is left, right, left. Left. A satisfying click told me I turned it to the right position. Right. Another. Okay, so let's try left again. Let's try right last time. That's right. Ah, oh, it hasn't come back. So, right. Uh, left. Oh, no. I had to start again. Apologies for Trin laughing in the background. A s another. I love the go. sound of locks clicking open. So you didn't know what that was, guys. It was left, right, left, left, right, left, I believe. You can just, if you, I'll make sure I'll keep it in the video so you'll be able to see how, what it is. But we've opened it up. Oh, we've got notes by the bit. So, 
Parry Royale Pierre cartoon interview. Relaxing in Bath when I was disturbed by phone call from my editor, Ronnie, he asked me to interview Pierre Carchon, media tycoon, and serial philandria on a case like a shot. Creepy mime outside Carchon's apartment. Mime, Carchon, cold as ice. M. Carchon, suave and charming, living up to his reputation. Oh, Mrs., I would imagine that says. Uh, Mrs. Carchon, cold as ice. M. Carchon, suave and charming, living up to his reputation, played along with his flirtation. Sound of a vase smashing and M. Carchon went to investigate a gunshot. I rushed into the room to find a mime standing over Carchon's body. Mime beckoned as I walked to him. He punched me, knocked me out. Came to, found, find Emilda distraught. Almost feel sorry for her. Must get to the bottom of this story before the police arrive. This is a break that I've waited for. Emilda doesn't trust me very much. Fortunately, she has chosen to let me investigate her husband's murder. In Carchon's safe, I found a stone cylinder with some symbols carved on surface. Surface got an imprint and found that it contained a coded message. Subjudice. S C S S D S S. Subjudice refers to a case that is under the jurisdiction of a court. But what about the letters? Ah, there you go. So if you noticed on the, if I go back a minute, now I can show you what. So it does actually give you the answer. If we look here. I removed the stone cylinder. I'd already unlocked the door. I'd already unlocked oh, the door. Open. So on one side it said a word beginning with S, on the other side it said... So it said Sinister Demetrius, I think was the word. So it's Sinister Demetrius, Sinister Sinister, Demetrius Sinister Sinister. So it actually gives you the um, left right left right thing, actually in your notes. So, Carchon was carrying a boat ticket marked Bertrand de la Concierge. The Concierge being the ancient law courts, the coded message includes the word subjudice. I should follow the clues exactly by going to the quayside by the Ile de la City, literally under the Concierge, below the Concierge subjudice, found a Chanel case underneath rotting skiff. Weird thing to find in a grotto. Carchon's stone cylinder operated a mechanism which opened door to a hidden chamber, but by my way, but my way is blocked. Someone has gone to great lengths to protect something. <clears throat> yeah, we've read all that. We know what all that is. Oh, sorry guys, I had to have a drink of water. Um, I've got tea actually. Let's, uh, let's have a look around. So we can have a look at that. It doesn't seem to be anything on the floor. What's that? Ut lex vel ut next sumito to the law or unto death submit. I guess these people didn't believe in liberté, égalité, or fraternity. Yes, I'll admit it. I was a swat at school. I also wore lipstick, and the nuns never knew. <laughs> okay, let's check out this cross. There doesn't seem to be anything else in this room. Oh, oh my god! The slab came down with a hell of a force. With nothing to hold it up, the cross dropped back down again. If I was going to get a closer look at the panel, I'd have to find a way of keeping the cross up. Okay, what have we got? Maybe we could probably use that again. Can we use shell the cloth was covered in blue paint i hope that i hadn't ruined it for nothing a safe key the brass case was smooth and perfectly round it was a boat ticket stamped bateau de la conciergerie when i was a little girl papa used to take me on the bateau mouche as a treat uh. it was the beautiful elephant my father had carved okay so let's do that again Lifting the cross closed the entrance door and also opened some kind of stone panel. Ingenious. So now we need something to hold it up. So let's try the uh there you go. The stone cross was propped up. Now I was getting somewhere. You would, yeah, you would have thought that would have been because it's stone, so it's quite sturdy. I was I thinking this casing. Slot. 
nothing bad happened, which was good. I've always been attached to my fingers. This slot was designed for something specific. But what? But I realised that that was quite a small hole, so I wondered if maybe... Shane. No. The shell case was too wide. Um, okay, so what... No? Okay. We'll try... No? We'll try this key. What about the elephant? No. Hmm. Okay, we don't have... No way would I be able to force the door open. Right, have I missed something? Let's go back and get the stone. I don't think I've missed anything. I took the stone oh. cylinder. I mean, could we prop that up with something else? Should we try that? Let's try propping it up with something else. Other than the stone cylinder. Let's try propping it up with a shell casing. There you go. And then we'll try using the stone cylinder in here. Ah, there you go. The artifact slotted into the hole perfectly. Behind the old walls, I could hear some kind of mechanism groaning into life. But whatever had been triggered had now jammed. Okay. The gap was too thin for me to get a grip. I needed something thin enough to prise the door open. Uh, there's no way that you can pry the, a door open with... I was going to need something a lot stronger than a hair clip to free the door. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah, so... Try key? No. Elephant? No. What about that key? No. Uh, lace is quite strong. No. Blotting paper? Right, so can we take the bullet casing now? I removed the shell case. The cross didn't drop back down. Some kind of mechanism was holding it up. So, what about the shell casing then on the door? The gap was too narrow. I needed something flatter to work into it. Uh, no. Okay, so I can't. Hmm. Like what? I haven't picked anything else up and I can't see anything else. The cross didn't drop back down. Some kind of mechanism was holding it up. No way would I be able to force the door open. Anything I can... We'll use, ev I'd, we'll use everything in our inventory. I didn't use a ticket. we we'll use the shell casing, the keys, we'll use the blotting paper. Hmm, I think it's got something to do with the shell casing, but you've got to somehow flatten it. If we put that back over there... The cross didn't need to be propped up. Oh. Right, so I... There's got to be something to do with that shell, so I want to take that thing out to see if we can... There you go, it sort of resets everything. So, I want to put the stone cylinder in there. Is that still open? Yeah. And then I want... Oh, 
Oh no, that's no, because I want to crush. I took the stone cylinder. Basically, I want to crush the the here this thing. So we're going to stick that there. There we go, and then we're going to lift the cross up. It's eight o'clock, guys. At my time, with my alarm telling me that I need to take do my morning routine. Uh, so that's all done. So we're going to take the crushed cylinder now. The stone slab had flattened one end of the shell case. There we go. Um. Now we're going to try that on the door we just opened. But I don't know, because now we've got nothing to... I needed a gap for leverage. Okay. The slab was too heavy for me to lift. Oh, so I need to do all that again, do I? Okay, let's... <laughs> that back in there because it will still hold that up and then we'll put the stone cylinder back in there oh there we go so then we need to take that back the uh, shell casing back that should give us the gap the shell case. that should give us the gap we need to uh, then try and open this with the There we are. Another good use for a shell case. Another secret room. Somebody had something to hide. But was it what I was looking for? No idea. Wow. Through the darkness, I could see that this was a stateroom. But for what purpose? And how did it tie in with Carchon? I would imagine we would need to turn the lights on. Is there a switch or something over here? What's this? Amazing! The thing still worked. The room lit up bright as day. Ooh. A door like that always has something important behind it. I had to find a way to unlock it. That wasn't going to help. Well, what happens if we go and grab the stone thing now? Will that close? Yeah, it did. So there'll be something in the room then that must unlock that. Uh, I was wondering if maybe we needed to take that out. It would shut that but keep that open. Um, we'll take the shell casing because we don't need it in there anymore. Just in case we need it in the other room. I removed the shell case. Right, let's go back in. Uh, I think that just turned the lights off again. Turning the lights off wasn't going to help. No. Let's turn it back that on. was more sensible. Uh, okay, so we will go have a look, see what we can find. Maybe there's something. Ooh, what's this? I wasn't going to find anything in this old desk. It hadn't been used for years. Okay, so oh, there might there might be something in one of the old desks. What's this one? This one looks like it's been used recently. What's in there, Nicole? 
Inside the drawer, I found a note written in some kind of code. Maybe else? Damn! Don't you just hate it when that happens? The drawer had come out easily enough, but wouldn't fit back into place. A photo, long lost, had fallen down the back of the drawer. It was very old, but there was no mistaking the guy in the foreground. Carchon. Behind him were soldiers, a burning village and a corpse. The photograph was cropped on the right-hand side. Somebody else in the picture obviously didn't want to be in it anymore. I wasn't surprised. This was Africa in the 60s. An uprising was being brutally suppressed. And here was Mr. Media himself, Carchon, doing the suppressing. The photograph was not just powerful evidence. It was also my ticket to one explosive story. But there had to be more for me to discover. Is there any more in there? There was nothing else in the drawer. Right, well, it's nothing. Let's have a look on the table. It was pretty clear from the lack of dust that someone had been working very recently at this desk. Oh, my God. The sheet was a printout with my personal information. Everything from my favourite food to my waist size. They were right about chocolate. But come on, guys. I'm a size 10. There was even a picture of me taken with a telephoto lens. Carchon wouldn't have taken these pictures himself. This was big and organized. I was part of it, and people were getting murdered. Mm. One thing was clear. Someone connected to Carchon had been watching me. Okay, yeah. About the... This was the article I'd written about the costume killer. My suspicions were right. Carchon had cut it out. Two businessmen had been killed. One in Italy, one in Japan. In each case, the killer had worn a costume, a penguin, and then a snowman. But that wasn't the only link between the two murders. Both the victims had been big media do-gooders, and I proved they were just the opposite. So, how did they fit in with Carchon? Mm -hmm. The dregs at the bottom of the mug hadn't dried out or gone mouldy. It wasn't more than a day old. My articles about the costume killer. Right, well... My articles about the costume killer. There's not, like... One thing was clear. Um... The drawer had come out easily enough but wouldn't fit back into place. Yeah. So what did I actually find? I didn't find a key or anything, did I? Let's take a this, a this. The note has been written using a substitution cipher. This means that a different symbol has been used to represent each letter of the alphabet. So I need to write this down. I'm going to need to write this down, so I'm going to need a bit of paper and a pen. Okay, so Trinity's in the background, so she's going to write it down. What I'll try and do is I will, uh, I'm going to take a quick screenshot of this. And then what I'll do is I will try and put that screenshot on through the editing. So the next thing you'll see is this uh, in editing, and then I will have the thing down the side for you. Um... So yeah, so I'm going to decipher it, uh, we're trying to write it down. So, uh, you've got the letter of the alphabet here. I'm not very good with coding, by the way, but this looks like a very, very basic code. So you've got A to Z in two lines here, and you've got all the different symbols in two lines there. So I would assume if A's there, then A's there. If Z's there, then Z's there. So let's just look for the letters. So Trinity, you ready? Uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So E... E is the first letter. W. Um, no, not that one. I want it the other way round. A. A. 
M M A. Oh, no, hang on. No, I don't think you do need to put it down. I don't think I need to take a screenshot either. I think it's going to let me decipher it in-game. Okay, so N. Right, so I know the basics. So the basic is the most used letter of the English alphabet is normally E. So we're going to need to look for uh, what's used the most. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, so... This one's used the most, so I think that's E. Which it can't be, because what word... Eel? E-double-L? So is that one L? No, that's all it gives you. You can get hints. So, wait. So that, that's in at the end. What do we normally use that symbol for is one thing. Like that. Yeah. That's the only one. You heard of the um, the thing? It's like, it's like a compass. There's two of them, so you turn the picture to where the number is. The separate. If you can figure out that one, what that one thing, you can figure out what all the other. Yeah, but that's the that's the only how that's the only time that letter is used. I've still got twenty five alphabet letters to find. That is not going to help me in any way. That that should be the last letter I find. That has got to be E because that is the most used letter. <clears throat> that that would make the thing at the um that thing your mouse is hovering over. Up. That's gonna make it T. You think that's T? Because that's not the only three-letter word. Which would make that circle thing. That's not the only three-letter word. That would make the circle thing H. That's the process. The circle thing H. Okay. Does that help? No. We got one word down. See, I thought that was L, but that can't be L. Then that, and that's also can't be E. Right, <clears throat> I'm going to get a hint, guys. I'm having problems cracking this sofa. Hint one. Look for the one or two letter words and try out A or T or in or of or to or by, etc. Those will now become clear. Oh, okay, so it's broken sword. Okay, so we make that I and make that N. I mean, that fits because then that could be now. Uh, thin. No, I'm just gonna have no hint. I'm. I'm Is the main character called Pierre by chance? Yeah. And this is a letter. Yeah. And who do you think it's addressed to? And where does the name normally go on the letter? Trin's got point. P. I. That would make that E. And that. We'll take the I and the N out. Oh no, the I needs to go back in, doesn't it? Because that's right. No, it's just that one. I. And then. Where is that letter? There, isn't it? Oh. Uh, I don't think the end's right, so what? I don't... I... No, I know. 
But I'm thinking of this. What about F? Would, could that be an F? It looks like it's trying to repair. You know, get rid of the N. It's R E P A I R. But I was trying to put that as an F. Report. Ah! Yes, Trinity's right, that would make it a T. I don't know why the F helped me with that letter. That's, hmm. Which would make that uh, O. Report to. Right, see, so like that's got to be together. So that one is a G. To guess, that's an, that one is an H. I uh, and then that one is this one here's got to be an S. Uh, that's got to be a U. Pierre, report to something. This is too uh, doesn't oh, end. Too so that's an N. And then that is but. What? But this is too urgent to something. Wait. Wait. Could be wait. Uh, we want the one. I didn't wait. Oh no. Oh, it could be. Oh no, that could be an and. Yeah. Both. So these could be names. Report to. Wait. Oh no. And. Both dead. This is not a coincidence. I need it. See. Coincidence. Oh, indeed, it seems. She's right, M. Um, that something, something us who came together. In it seems that that's got to be K. Take great care. Uh, that's got to be an uh, of us. Of us. Oh, follow. Pierre, full report to follow, but this is too urgent to wait. Arno and something both dead. This is not a coincidence. Uh, indeed, it seems that all of us who came together in something are in danger. Take great care. So, who, who, what name goes Arno? I don't know. Is that an F by chance at the end? Or where? Uh, well, no, because. Well, I don't know. Samada? Samada? Both dead? No. Uh, or Jamada? In. Zulu? Jamada? J. Could that be a month? Those of us who came together in a month are in danger. Uh, in July. I don't know. What did I put in Z? Uh, have that one. There's a J. And then X. There's a. That's the wrong one. And what's this? I have decrypted the notes. It read, Pierre. Full report to follow. But this is too urgent to wait. Arno and Yamada both dead. This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems that all of us who came together in July are in danger. Take great care. X. 
So I would not have been I able... I wasn't the only one to make the connection between the costume killer murders. I'd been right all along. That was why he had asked to meet me. But what did I know that he didn't? I had enough for a story. An amazing story that was going to make my reputation and blow Conchance to pieces. I needed to get home fast and start typing. Bonsoir, Coulard. Nico, it's Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, you cracked open the champagne yet? Are you crazy? What's wrong? Wait a minute. You didn't print it, did you? Of course I didn't going. print. That's the best piece I've written. The last, as far as I'm concerned. It's important. It's suicidal. You can't destroy a national hero. He deserved it. His corpse isn't even cold. Ronnie, two hours ago I told you what I'd found. You loved it. You begged me to write it up immediately. Two hours is a long time in newspapers, Nico. Someone's got to you, haven't they? Listen up, Nicole, and listen good. Pierre Carchant had a lot of friends, powerful friends. For your own sake. Forget what happened. You got it. End of conversation. Good night. This should have been my big break, but I knew there was nowhere else to sell this story. If Ronnie wouldn't print it, nobody would. Bonsoir, Collard. Mademoiselle Collard, my name is Plantard. I need to talk to you about your story, your Pierre Carchon story. How did you know about that? There are people out there, madame, who will be very upset by this story. Oh, really? Well, it's their lucky day. It's been spiked. Yes, I know. We must meet. We must? I have information relating to your costume killer stories. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., Café de la Chandelle Verte. Rue Alain Cor. I shall be wearing a grey overcoat. You must talk to no one about this. You can't tell me what to... Tomorrow at eight. I'll be waiting. People complain about newspaper articles all the time, but not usually before they're printed. I was beginning to feel scared. This guy, Plantard, could I trust him? Should I meet him or forget the whole business? I didn't have an answer. I'd only been in Paris for a week, but already I'd fallen in love with the city. My latest discovery was a little cafe, La Chandelle Verte. I was pretty sure the waitress was taking a shine to me. That old Stobart charm, I guess. Little did I know my reverie was about to be so rudely interrupted. As I picked myself up, I was really angry. One minute, I'm on vacation. The next minute, some clown's blown me up. I knew right away what I was gonna do. I was gonna find that clown and bring him to justice. Because justice matters. Justice is up there with liberty, and equality, and uh, fraternity. After all, that's why I'd studied law, wasn't it? Well, that and the money, of course. Okay. And we have Stubart. Okay, so guys, uh, this is being recording for a good 40 minutes now. I am going to end it here. So if you uh, like the episode, please uh, click the like button. If you want to see more of Broken Sword or indeed anything else that we're doing on the channel, hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that you're made aware of when we have new videos going out to the channel. They are currently going out daily. Sometimes there are double uploads for you as well. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you're all staying safe, I hope you're all well, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!